Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain bootcamp and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer so i got a question about mobile development i've, I've definitely done uh, quite a few videos on mobile development you can check out the playlist on mobile development stuff here if that's what you're interested in android ios uh, i've done a lot of mobile development in my my career in my my former life as a as a, as a coding developer instead of a youtuber but uh but I, I always get these questions about is native about native mobile development and this one is about whether or not native mobile development is going to die so this is this video this question is from gs so gs I have been doing Android development for over uh, a year now. There are other popular hybrid frameworks like React Native, Xamarin, etc., for developing both Android and iOS. I have been reading a lot about hybrid 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 development hybrid development hybrid development taking over. I know technology doesn't vanish away all at once, but the extreme growth of JS has made me worried. What do you think? Is JS and Python going to take over? Should I stop doing native development and start learning these hybrid technologies? This is a good one. This is a, a, a really good question because you know what? When mobile, when iOS and Android first came out, everyone was predicting that, right? There was, what was it like? Uh, app, uh, I, I can't even remember the names of, of the frameworks. Anyway, there, there's always been hybrid frameworks that, that have come out and everyone was predicting that that native development was not the way to go and native development was not going to be the future and that it was all going to be developed in the, in the browser, right? In fact, Firefox OS, well, look how popular that, that sucker is. Do you, have, do you have a phone in Firefox OS? Have you ever seen a phone with Firefox OS? It, it's, it's based on the concept of having it all, all be web-based. And this is great. This makes sense to me, right, to, to this hybrid development, but we haven't seen it happen yet, okay? The, the, the fact is that the phone still are not powerful enough that the the hybrid, the pure hybrid experience is is good enough that everyone has abandoned native apps and, and gone to that. Now, there's a couple of distinctions I'd, I'd like to make here. One of them is that, you know, Xamarin and hybrid is not quite the same thing, right? I'm a big fan of Xamarin, you know, full disclosure, I'm a Xamarin MVP, and I've worked with those guys that spoke at Evolve, you can, just, you can check out my talk where I spoke out of all here. I, I thought it was a good talk. I liked it. Uh, but, but the thing is, like, th that's different. So the Xamarin stuff is technically native, right? It, it is, it's cross-platform, okay? But it is not hybrid. It is not in a web browser. It actually compiles down to native code, and you get native binaries that get installed on the, the devices. I want to make that distinction clear because you, you got to really take that into account when you when you talk about the hybrid versus native. So I believe that Xamarin. I, I think I did a video on this. You can check out the video I did about about Xamarin or the future of Xamarin. If that and I, I'm all in on that idea because I think that developing on iOS and Android and it was Windows Phone, but not anymore. But there will be a new Windows thing, right? There will be. Oh, but developing on all those platforms natively in the in the in the native language it's difficult and I know it because I did it right I wrote an iOS applications and Android applications natively I taught courses on them I'm intimately familiar with doing native development with porting and, and supporting the different platforms and it's a pain in the ass okay I started developing my own framework and then Xamarin Forms came out and they basically did what I was doing so I do think that if you're just going to be just a purely native Android or iOS developer, that that's probably not the best choice. Now, with that said, even with my own personal biases, I think you, if you're an Android developer, you, you still got at least five years of doing native Android development, maybe 10 years. I mean, hell, there's still COBOL developers, right? 
that are working on mainframe systems. So there's going to be Android applications. There's going to be legacy Android applications. Even if everyone goes to hybrid or, or cross-platform development tools, there's still going to be the stuff to support. There's still going to be people that are going to use it, just like COBOL. So I wouldn't worry there. But if you want to go where you're going to be most useful and where the most money is going to be, I would look at some kind of cross-platform tool. I wouldn't worry about, don't try and win this battle between hybrid and native, right? Instead, look at cross-platform, because cross-platform is where it's at. The hybrid native thing, I don't know how long this battle is going to go on. I don't know if ultimately hybrid is going to win. What I can tell you is that technology, as far as thick client, thin client, which is what we're talking about here, is like a pendulum. Okay, and it swings back and forth on the web, it swings back and forth on the desktop, right? You, you have periods of time where, you know, we, we had a period of time where, remember, everyone was going to Flash, <laughs> and everyone was basically creating these thick client applications inside of a web browser, right? We're, we're kind of there now, right? We have single page applications and, and all this stuff and, and React, and so we're able to build, you know, essentially thick clients inside there, and then we, we went to where we had it super light with Web 2.0, you know, or that came first, but we go back and forth, okay? So I, I wouldn't worry necessarily about that. Uh, if you want to get into web development, yeah, learn JavaScript and Python. But if you want to stay on mobile development, then figure out what is the best technology right, for, for mobile development. And maybe that's going to be a cross-platform hybrid uh, technology or framework. And if that's the case, then yeah, maybe you're going to have to learn some JavaScript and Python if you want to do that. But that might not be the case. Your, your, your focus needs to not be on, on figuring out whether or not hybrid or native is going to win. It needs to be on what is the best cross-platform tools that are, that are winning and, and pick one of those, pick a winner there. Like I said, I think Xamarin is, is the choice that I pick. I happen to like C Sharp and I, and I feel like my, with Microsoft backing Xamarin, you know, owning Xamarin essentially now, uh, that there's that it's a pretty good bet, right? I, I place my bet on on Microsoft backing a technology because there, there's there's going to be a lot of support. There's probably going to be a lot of of use for that. But like I said, if you're an Android or iOS developer, you're going to have a job for I mean five ten years. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, you know, you, the Cobol developers are still around. But uh, but if I were you, I would look at cross platform. All right. I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you have a question for Mimi, for Mimi, you can email Mimi, <laughs> or you can email me at John at SimpleProgrammer.com. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.